Welcome to Back to Basics. My name is Maini Tatati, a solutions architect from AWS. In this session, you'll learn all about best practice architecture patterns for observability with Amazon Elastic Kubernetes Service or Amazon EKS, which is a container orchestrator. So why do we need observability for Kubernetes in general? That's to detect, investigate, and remediate issues for your systems and your customers that use your application on EKS. But can't you just use the standard monitoring tools that you've used with your virtual machines? Not so fast. They might not be the right tool for the right job, especially for distributed architectures like Kubernetes. With microservices architectures, there are multiple pods being created and going away within minutes. Now, due to this ephemeral nature of Kubernetes, the usual monitoring tools that we're used to with virtual machines that have predefined logs and metrics aren't adequate enough in troubleshooting problems. Now, why do we need to troubleshoot problems? That's because your end users won't be happy if your service isn't up. You might even have service level agreements or SLAs in place to ensure that your applications are operational under certain conditions. Let's say you're a platform engineer at a pet food company that runs a web app on a Kubernetes cluster. The web application is experiencing performance issues and your customers are complaining about it. To troubleshoot the issue, you'll need to use end-to-end -end observability techniques and tools from the front end all the way to the back end. This includes logging, metrics, and tracing. First, you'll need to gather metrics and logs from all the components of the application, including dependencies, the Kubernetes node, and the cluster itself. You can use a tool like AWS Distro for open telemetry to centralize and process the logs and metrics. You can use a tool like Amazon Managed Services for Prometheus to collect the metrics and Amazon Managed Services for Grafana or Amazon CrowdWatch to visualize the metrics. Finally, you'll need to use tracing to understand how the requests are flowing through to the system and identify any performance bottlenecks. You can use a tool like AWS X-Ray to visualize the trace data. Using these observability techniques, you'll be able to gain an understanding of the state of your system. And then you'll be able to identify the root cause of your performance issues. And once you've identified the root cause, you'll be able to work on a solution from there. In this case, we found out quickly that the bottleneck was around your storefront and data store apps with the AWS X-Ray Trace. See how you can see the average response latency for each segment which allows you to dive deeper into these apps with CloudWatch metrics and logs for some root cause analysis. Let's check out the architecture pattern. AWS Distro for OpenTelemetry is a tool that allows you to monitor your application's performance by collecting and analyzing telemetry data such as traces, metrics, and logs. It works by using receivers to collect the data, processes to perform tasks such as filtering and transforming the data. Exporters send the data to multiple destinations such as AWS X-Ray or Amazon Managed Services for Prometheus and Amazon CloudWatch. So how does that benefit your microservices applications? You will have full control of your observability data for your microservice on EKS with the flexibility to send data to multiple destinations in parallel. The best practice to implement this pattern is with Amazon EKS Blueprints. With EKS Blueprints, you can use it with AWS CDK and Terraform to create consistent environments and configure your EKS cluster with observability tools across multiple AWS accounts and regions using infrastructure as code and automation. Have a look at the resources below to get started with implementing observability tools for Amazon EKS so you can meet your SLAs and keep your end users happy. Thank you for watching and keep on modernizing on containers. See you next time.